the presence of white blood cells, WBCs, in urine, known as pyuria, can be a sign of underlying urinary tract infection or inflammation. In this video, we will understand WBCs in urine, including their causes, diagnosis, and treatment options. Here are the common causes of WBCs in urine. 1. Urinary tract infection, UTIs. The most common cause of WBCs in the urine is a bacterial infection in the urinary tract, such as cystitis or pyelonephritis. UTIs often manifest with symptoms like frequent urination, burning sensation during urination, cloudy urine, and lower abdominal pain. 2. Kidney stones. Presence of kidney stones can lead to irritation and inflammation in the urinary tract, resulting in presence of WBCs in the urine. These solid deposits can cause discomfort, blank pain, and blood in the urine. 3. Urinary tract inflammation. Inflammation in the urinary tract, such as interstitial cystitis or urethritis, can cause WBCs to appear in the urine. Symptoms may include urinary urgency, frequency, and pelvic pain. 4. Sexually transmitted infections, STIs. Certain STIs, including gonorrhea or chlamydia, can infect the urinary tract and cause inflammation, leading to the presence of WBCs in the urine. Testing for STIs is crucial if exposure or symptoms are suspected. Diagnosis. To diagnose the underlying cause of white blood cells, WBCs, in the urine, healthcare professionals typically perform a medical history and physical examination. They also conduct a urinalysis to analyze a urine sample looking for the presence of WBCs, red blood cells, bacteria, and other components. If a urinary tract infection, UTI, is suspected, a urine culture may be done to identify the specific bacteria causing the infection. Additionally, imaging studies such as ultrasound, CT scan, or MRI may be ordered to visualize the urinary tract and identify any underlying conditions like the kidney stones or structural abnormality. Treatment of WBCs in urine. The treatment approach depends on the underlying cause identified through diagnosis. Common treatment options include 1. Antibiotics. If a bacterial infection is diagnosed, a course of antibiotics is prescribed. The choice of antibiotics depends on the specific bacteria causing the infection and its sensitivity to different medications. 2. Pain management. Pain relievers, both over-the-counter and prescription, can be used to alleviate discomfort associated with urinary tract infections or inflammation. 3. Addressing underlying conditions. If kidney stones or other urinary tract abnormalities are detected, Treatment focuses on managing or removing the underlying cause through medications, procedures, or surgery. 4. Follow-up and monitoring. After completing the prescribed treatment, follow-up appointments or repeat urinalysis may be recommended to ensure the infection has resolved, WBC count has normalized, and to assess overall urinary tract health. The presence of white blood cells in the urine can indicate an underlying urinary tract infection or inflammation. Prompt diagnosis and appropriate treatment are essential to address the underlying cause and prevent complications. If you notice any changes in the urine color, frequency, or experience discomfort, it is important to consult a healthcare professional for proper evaluation and guidance. 